Welcome to King Says So, a channel that advocates for one Africa, one land, one Africa, one language, one Africa, one currency, one Africa, one army. I wish to witness Africans all around the world united as one in our lifetime. Enjoy. They must continue to fight for their country and reclaim it from kleptocracy and the criminality that has hijacked Zimbabwe. We want the Zimbabweans to fight to take over their own country back. We want the international community to leave the sanctions and let's get Zimbabwe to work again. These people who are saying they are Zimbabweans all over are the ones who should be marching in solidarity with the people of Zimbabwe and demanding free and fair elections in Zimbabwe. This thing of pretentious elections is not going to work, is not going to deliver confidence, the much needed confidence that Zimbabweans need now from the international community to go back and reinvest them to lift uh, the sanctions. Mangwanane, makasimba hiri, atakasimba. Ningataure ne murume wa Zimbabwe. Ningataure ne murume wa Zimbabwe. Can I talk to the men of Zimbabwe? Murume ariti. Murume wa Zimbabwe ariti. Where are the men of Zimbabwe? Murume wa Zimbabwe aripi. Nyinga taure na murume, ne murume wa Zimbabwe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy King053, Mr. Easy Imali Enengi Nengi, all the way from South Africa. And I had to make this video for the men of Zimbabwe. I had to, you know, of course, I had to even learn uh, more of Shona because I wanted to speak a little bit more to the men of, Zim of Zimbabwe, the Shona, the Ndebele, the, all the tribes of Zimbabwe. And I'm trying. Ladies and gentlemen, the elections of Zimbabwe are going to be rigged. It looks like, it looks like from all the, the analysts, all the, uh, all the people that are in Zimbabwe, that are watching these elections, it looks like Nelson Chamisa is actually leading in terms of the numbers. Now, what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that in five days, Zach, Zimbabwe Electric Commission said they're going to release their results in five days. Imagine, five days. Meaning in five days, they're going to be deliberating behind closed doors, behind the locked doors to make a way to make um, Nangagwa to win again. But the numbers are not going to make sense. The problem is when you're releasing the numbers bichana bichana from religion, uh, uh, region to region, we are calculating all of these numbers. So when you give us the total sum, we will be able to see that there's something wrong here. There is some mistakes that I've seen from Triple um, C. You know, they're having uh, three people standing for the same um, for the same position in other regions, which did not make sense. But anyway, Nataure Nemurume was Zimbabwe. Can I talk to the men of Zimbabwe? Zim Ladies and gentlemen, from wherever you are watching me, let me tell you what type of men we have in Zimbabwe. In fact, let me tell you what type of nation we have in Zimbabwe. Because here in South Africa, Zimbabwe is, is our, is our, they are not, I don't even want to say neighbors. Like we don't have a border between South Africa and Zimbabwe. That's how united we are with Zimbabwe. We've got a love and hate type of a situation, but really Zimbabwe and South Africa is just like Lesotho and South Africa. It's just like Botswana and South Africa. It's just like Namibia and, and South Africa. Okay, Namibia is a little bit long drive. But anyway, I'm just saying Zimbabwe. Zimbabwean people are family to us South Africans. And as a pan-Africanist, I am happy to say, and I'm proud to say, that Zimbabwean people in general, understand in general meaning the, the the vast the in in their population 
when you look at Zimbabwean people, when you meet a Zimbabwean person, you meet a soft-spoken person, you meet a very kind person, you meet a very helpful person, you meet a very loving person. I cannot say the same about South Africans, and I'm South African myself. You will meet very cruel people in South Africa. South Africans, we have, we have been through a lot. We just like Nigerians. We have been through a lot. We can be kind when we want to, and we can be very aggressive when we want to. That's why you see South Africans being accused of being the most xenophobic place in, in Africa. But don't make that mistake. The most xenophobic place in, in Africa is Libya. Anyway, let's come back to the Zimbabweans. Zimbabwean men in general are very kind people, very soft spoken people. I know there is criminals in Zimbabwe, I know, but the, the, the majority of them, Zimbabwean men, are very kind people. The reason why I'm saying that is because when you look at what is happening in Zimbabwe, and I want to make this very clear to Zimbabwean uh, brothers and fathers, uncles and, uh, and grandfathers, to say, when you look at the Zimbabwean people and you see what is happening in their country, you can't help to ask, where are the men? You can't help to ask, but where are the Zimbabwean, where are the Zimbabwean men? Murume was Zimbabwe RDP. Where are the men in Zimbabwe? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to tuffle or want to take over a government, if you want to fight a government, you must be military minded. You must have a military strategy to do that. Going and protesting in the street is not going to help, but you're going to catch bullets on your head and on your body and people will die mal. I see this coming to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is going to have, where if Nelson, if Nelson Tamisa does not win, we're going to have an outburst of riots in Zimbabwe streets, but they will not be coordinated. So when they are not coordinated, then we're going to have a situation where people will die mahala. And Zimbabweans, unfortunately, they are not like Nigerians. They are not like the people in the DRC. They are not like the people in Sudan. They are not like the people in Mali, uh, Chad Republic. You, they are not in they are not like the people in Burkina Faso. They are not like South Africans. They are not even like Lesotho people. Not even like Swaziland people. They, they, they will give up very fast after seeing people die. In South Africa, if we see people die, it aggravates us more to, to do more. But not Zimbabweans. Zimbabweans are very soft-hearted. Go on the comment section and tell me if I'm right or wrong. Yes. Oh, Zimbabwe, you are taking the cup for being the most kind, soft-hearted man in, in Africa. Why are you taking that cup? And I know, I know, very, uh, uh, Zimbabwe is a very religious uh, place with all the um, major prophets, most of them coming from Zimbabwe. You know, so I, I am I'm very disappointed in, I'm, 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 I'm asking myself, where are the men in Zimbabwe? Am I audible, guys? One, two. Am I audible? I hope I'm audible because I'm not going to repeat what I just said. Zimbabwean men, you need to stand up. But you have five days to formulate a strategy. Five days. Do not take women and children in the streets to go, to, to be shot and killed by the, 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 the army and the police of Zimbabwe. Do not do that. Do not do it. You are not cut from the, that cloth. You know, in South Africa, we will sacrifice anything. <laughs> you know, these Nigerians are crazy. They will do anything. I know Nigerians, they will go crazy. In Seneca, look what is happening in Seneca. Like, it's, 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 it's every country in Africa has got men that have, that can say enough is enough, but not Zimbabwe. Not Zimbabwe. You, if you're watching this in, from Zimbabwe, please spread this video everywhere. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not saying this uh, to disrespect the Zimbabweans. No. In fact, I admire the kindness, the kind-heartedness of Zimbabweans. 
sometimes I wish um, I wish South Africans could take a little bit from that. You know, because yeah, South Africans, we are heartless. You know? We have, South Africa has got very violent tribes. The only tribe that is not violent in South Africa is actually the Tswana people. The Tswana people, and I stay in Northern Cape, so I can speak for them. So I, the Tswana people are not violent at all. The rest of South African tribes, my goodness. My goodness. Mm -mm. Shona men in Zimbabwe stand up. Ndebele men in Zimbabwe. And Ndebele, you guys, I know you guys, you are not very soft-hearted kind of people, I know. So stand up. Do something in, in Zimbabwe. Five days. Five days. I, did, I wanted to do a breakdown of what is happening in the uh, in terms of the numbers and everything. But that's none of my business. There's other, there's other pay, uh, or YouTube channels that are covering this. I'm watching the news. Everything. Everyone is covering this beautifully. And everyone can see that this election is going to be rigged and everything. But... Nobody is speaking to the Shona men, the Zimbabwean men, the Ndebele men, and all the other types. There's other types. It's just these two are the official ones. Please, please, I'm begging you, do not allow Zimbabwe to go through another five years under this man. Do not allow that. Do not allow Zimbabwe to suffer. I, I saw other men saying, um, look, we are, we are happy to, to stand in these queues. We want to vote. We want to vote. Do you think your vote counts in Zimbabwe? Do you think your vote counts when, when are you men in Zimbabwe? Guys, I've said enough. I've said enough. I hope someone is listening. I've said enough. I've said enough. We are praying for you, Zimbabweans. We hope for the best. We want change in Zimbabwe because Zimbabweans are family to us South Africans. We love you, Zimbabweans. You are not foreigners in our land. Do not take, I know 70% of children that give birth, uh, yeah, women that give birth in Mosina are, are from Zimbabwe. You guys are family. Do not feel guilty. Come and give birth here. Don't worry. We have xenophobic and ra um, um, not racist but you know uh, South Africans that are not yet screwed up because of the uh, the colonizers have made us hate each other but I'm telling you the majority of South Africa do not hate you Zimbabweans we love you so much do not lose hope and I hope these elections can come out with credible results whether Zano PF wins or Triple C wins it's fine but let it be credible results. What we have, we are, what we are seeing from outside it does not look good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, please consider to subscribe. There is much, much more coming. I'll be, I will be, I'll be addressing this Zimbabwe thing until the, the 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 official announcement is made as to who has won the elections, the national elections in um zimbabwe thank you so guys so much for watching guys don't forget to pray and just know that your boy king 053 mr easy email ning ning salutes you thank you for tuning in if you enjoyed the content leave your thoughts on the comment section and hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet on the next one